to show you how to go about doing a mixed liquor uh, settlability test. It's pretty important how you handle the sample when you're actually pouring up your cylinder. If you get the sample, which you can see this one has actually settled out quite a bit in transit, ideally you would only actually fill that sample bottle to the shoulder, not right up to the top like my sampler's done, because by having that little bit of air space, it makes it easier to remix and make sure you're getting a truly homogenous brew in there to then test. But anyhow, don't shake the living bajingos out of it. If you do that, you're going to bust all your activated sludge flock up, and what we're trying to do is copy what's happening in the clarifier on your treatment part. So what you want to be doing is just gently invert the bottle probably half a dozen or so times until you're confident that you're really getting a truly well mixed sample. Because what we're trying to do is keep those activated sludge flocks that make up the mixed liquor in the same sort of condition that they are when they're out there on the big plant. So that's looking pretty good now, that looks fairly well mixed. So when you're filling your cylinder, don't just pour it all in like a bull at a gate. Pretend you're filling up a yardie or something and you're trying to get a nice little head on the top of what you're pouring up. Disclaimer, do not drink your sample. And we want to make sure that we get a pretty well dead set level with that 1000 mil mark. So I'm just tipping it down the side until I get within cooey of it and then I'm going to pop it on the bench and just fill in that last little bit this way. Okay. And there we go, now I'm going to start my timer for 30 minutes. Sometimes you might like to do a 5 minute settlability and a 30 minute settlability just to give you an idea if your flock is really dropping fast or not. Thanks.